Hi, welcome to the Market Alert uh, for Wednesday, the 27th of uh, May 2020. So, stock saw as New York Exchange reopens its floor to traders. So, traders were allowed for the first time back on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange, and this helped as there was a lack of news to move prices uh, to the upside, which uh, we'll have a look at now. So, in the daily chart uh, for yesterday, I'll just drag this back so I can rescale the chart. Uh, we saw prices uh, continuing to move higher. It's of no surprise uh, for those of you that uh, have seen the market alert for the last 12 years that uh, the job of the Fed is to get the market back to the highs, irrespective of 40 million unemployed, the economy imploding, and the Fed's balance sheet now over 7 trillion. I think it's uh, best summed up here by uh, the criminal Jamie Dimon. JP Morgan Dimon uh, admits Fed liquidity is propping up stocks. So he's going to be a happy bunny, as all other bankers are going to be as well. So that's what's uh, going on here. said it for a very, 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 very long time uh, that uh, the Fed has got the stock markets back. And that's why you're seeing it uh, returning back to the upside there. Let's uh, see what happens if we get to the 200 bar moving average in the daily. And let's have a look, see if there's any news to move uh, the market higher. And speaking of criminals, uh, ECB President Lagarde uh, speaks at 8.30 a.m. So that's going to boost the pre-market for both the Dow and also uh, the DAX. Here you can see the overnight market is higher. Prices uh, tested at the DP level and have uh, now moved to the upside. We've gone up 100 points, uh, 200 points, 250 points in the pre-market session to the R1, where the market's currently uh, found some resistance and also closed below a 20 bar moving average. But let's have a look at uh, yesterday's uh, trading session. Uh, it was very choppy on the open, but let's just go a little bit further back so you can see what happened in the pre-market uh, arena here so after completing the market alert uh, yesterday morning prices uh, were sort of sideways to higher the, the bulk of the move was done uh, when the market opened in the early hours uh, and then it became slightly choppier and then we had a run just before the uh, market opened an hour before we see prices uh, putting in a triple bottom there and then just uh, ramping prices higher Again, as I've said before, there are a lot of people who are selling in this rally and you get this very choppy period to begin with and then they managed to move the market to the upside and then prices came back again as others took advantage of this. So what's going on here is very simple. You've got uh, the classic of uh, the futures market, the electronic market uh, pumping prices to the upside with the use of derivatives, i.e. the futures contract. And then when the market opens at 2.30 and the cash buyers and sellers come on stream, they're trying to exit the market, which is what uh, you see, what, why you see this very choppy sort of price action here. And then just before the close as well, there was uh, some news about uh, a vaccination not being um, available and that sent the market lower. However, we can see here that uh, vaccine or no vaccine uh, the market then uh, is moved back to the upside in the pre-market session of uh, last night and the early hours of this morning on asia so yeah that's where we are we're continuing to move to the upside and that's how i would imagine it's going to be for some time in the implied volatility And the implied volatility also pointing to this. Uh, we can see that we've got uh, another new low. I didn't expect this, but uh, as the market moves higher, maybe we can get back down to uh, below 20% on the uh, risk aspect of the options. If we do, then uh, the greater the fall, uh, like we saw last time in the stock market, and uh, the increase in the implied volatility there. So it's a quiet week this week as far as uh, economic news is concerned as uh, we've just got the Fed uh, chairman out on Friday. 
So uh, the market uh, making its own way, but it's already Wednesday and of course the bank holiday always throws it out and shortens the week. So with that really, there's not much else uh, to say and uh, let's see what happens today as the market continues to move uh, towards uh, back to the highs, irrespective of the disconnect from the underlying uh, chaos with uh, the money printing and also uh, the economy falling apart at the seams. Okay, that's it. Uh, as ever, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.